Pedro Zaniga is the sweetheart father of five in the candy costume, the smiling husband and volunteer standing proudly with U.S. soldiers. While Pedro had many titles, there's one his family wishes he never had, COVID victim. He was the best amongst us. But attorney Paul Matiasek says Zaniga went through the worst case scenario, dying in April after his family claims he contracted coronavirus while working at a grocery store distribution center. A lawsuit filed by Zuniga's family claims the chain he worked for not only failed to follow state and federal coronavirus guidelines issued in March to protect workers, but even posted a flyer that month saying masks and gloves were not recommended. If you engage in willful misconduct, if you engage in gross negligence, if you put your head in the stand, someone will hold you to account. An international firm tracking COVID complaints shows nearly 100 lawsuits have been filed since the beginning of the year across the U.S. related to COVID-19 exposure at work, lack of PPE, and virus-related injuries and deaths on the job. Dozens more relate to claims of sickness or death from catching coronavirus in a public place, as well as medical malpractice and wrongful death. COVID-19 has, has a grip, a control over every person on the planet, and there will be a lot of litigation. Georgetown law professor Lawrence Gostin says the challenge is preventing frivolous lawsuits while ensuring accountability. We don't want businesses or hospitals or others having to go bankrupt because of potential lawsuits, but we do want them to follow the science and the public health guidelines. And if they blatantly fail to do that, um, putting others at risk, Yes, I do think they should be liable. But the issue is hotly debated, with congressional lawmakers taking sides on the need for a federal liability standard to protect businesses. And I'm trying to protect uh, companies from going bankrupt, uh, unnecessarily from lawsuits that maybe go too far. The only way to decide who's a bad actor is on the facts. And that judgment has to be made in a courtroom. At least 12 states have enacted laws to provide coronavirus shields that would give businesses varying amounts of immunity from lawsuits in certain situations when someone is infected with COVID. California, where Pedro Zaniga and 50 of his co-workers were sickened, isn't one of them. His family's lawsuit has become a national rallying cry for the need to protect workers in the pandemic. So this is Pedro's legacy. Indeed it is. Pedro was one who always stuck up for people who didn't have a voice, even posthumously, he's trying to help out frontline workers and essential workers throughout the nation. I'm Josie Sturman for Spotlight on America.